Hey, have you ever recorded yourself making something only to forget that you have all this footage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm starting off with a stick and a half of frozen butter. That's about 12 tablespoons or so. And we're just going to chop it up into tiny pieces. Not too tiny, but you know, small enough. And we're going to separate about four eggs. Yes, I have six out, but uh, two of those are going to be left whole. And we're going to zest one whole lemon. Remember kids, zest first, then juice. And we're going to slide this into the DMs. You know, destroying machine. Add your cold butter and the stuff that's on the screen. Let it all get pulverized. And it'll start to kind of look like you made a mistake. It's okay. You'll see why in a minute. And then we're going to crumple up this baking paper. This step is completely optional. I'm just lazy when it comes to clean up. Go ahead and pour that mess in and pat it down as evenly as you can get it. We're going to pop this into a preheated 350 oven for 30 minutes. They really don't have to be perfect. And here we're looking for about three quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. If you don't do it freshly squeezed, what the hell are you doing, man? Two whole eggs and four egg yolks and the stuff that's on the screen. Again, this is going to start looking like it's a mistake, but just trust the process and add in your juice. I like to run mine through a fine mesh sieve, but you know, do as you please. Paste should loosen up and get real thin. And we're going to let this sit while we grab out the, the crust part. While the crust is still hot, pour in your lemon mixture. We're going to pop it back into the oven and turn it down to 300 degrees and set your timer for 30 minutes. At this point, we could just as easily sprinkle some powdered sugar over it and call it lemon bars. But no, we're going to be extra today. Let that cool for at least a half an hour on a wire rack. Here I have four egg whites and I'm going to go ahead and start whipping it up. Once it starts to get a little frothy, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon or two of the stuff that's on the screen. I don't know why it works out better, it just does. We're going to make sure that we have some stiff peaks going. Looks stiff enough to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add all these egg whites and smear them around until they're somewhat even. Here I'm using an offset spatula to make those iconic peaks, yes. Sorry, I had to use an overused word just to get the algorithm to recognize this video. It's not like many of you watch more than 20 seconds of this thing anyways. We're gonna put this under the broiler and you need to watch this like a hawk because it will burn easily. Sorry I didn't get a picture of the cross section, but I was lucky to come back home with two pieces. 